What is going on YouTube? So come back today with the video that I've been meaning to do for a little while and that is the top 10 MLB free agents heading into this offseason. So I did that for all the sports that are currently in the offseason right now, um, NHL, or the NHL, the NBA, and the NFL. But I have not done the MLB for this coming offseason yet. So like I said, I'm going to do a top 10. I'm not going to do a three outside or anything. I'm just going to talk about my actual top 10. Uh, just a note, I'm assuming most of y'all know this. But uh, the clear former number one free agent, Steven Strasburg, is now, or ha or is now resigned. Yeah, but was resigned a couple months ago, and so that adjusts the list a little bit compared to a lot of the lists you might have seen in the preseason or like in the beginning of the season. So let's go and start at number ten. Oh, by the way, the list is gonna be in the description below, as I always do. So in number ten, I got Carlos Gomez, outfielder for the Houston Astros. Again, not having a great year, um, you know. I think he's going to need to find the right situation with the one-year deal to kind of put him back on track for the way he was oh, two years ago. Um, you know, he's dealt with a little bit of injury problems this year, and I think his stock's a little bit low. Again, at the beginning of the year, he was as high as number two on a lot of free agency lists, but he has slipped pretty drastically. So, at number nine, I got Mark Trumbo, a guy who's having a pretty solid year. Again, a guy that you might not have found on a lot of free agency lists. Um at the beginning of the year he is i believe one of the current home run leaders you know he's never a guy that's gonna be like a 300 hitter for you but i'm assuming most of y'all know that um you know kind of a journeyman recently after his stint with the angels went to the diamondbacks for two years i remember that it was all right um and then two more years uh in the al with the mariners last year in the orioles this year up to this point this year, though, 28 home runs, 68 RBIs, and a 255 batting average, which honestly for him isn't that bad. So um, wherever he goes, I think he'll command a little bit heavier money than people expected him to, obviously. But again, will still be a valuable free agent pickup for some team this offseason. So at number eight, got Neil Walker. And Neil Walker, to me, is one of the most underrated players in Major League Baseball. He's been so useful for so long to the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. And... You know, went to the what, when did he go to the New York Mets? Was that I believe that was, yeah, this year. And you know what? Having a pretty solid season there too. He's one of the most consistent second basemen you're gonna find in Major League Baseball. Again, I. He's not, you know, his prime days are, are might be coming to an end, but like I said, this is still a guy that's probably gonna get you between 15, 20 home runs and between 50 and 80 RBIs every single year. You know, batting average, not that bad either. This year, he's not doing great, but about a 270 career hitter normally can stay at least above the Mendoza line. So, again, another player that I think will be a valuable free agency pickup for some team this offseason. I'm not sure if the Mets will re-sign him. Um, right, let's see if I can... See if I can... Yeah, nothing... Uh, no real talk about it yet. But anyway, at number seven, I got a role as Chapman closing pitcher for the New York Yankees. He's been talked about being dealt before the trade deadline. Uh, him and Carlos Beltran's name are floating around almost as much as anyone's really if the Yankees don't start winning like very, uh, very frequently before the trade deadline rolls around. I wouldn't be surprised to see one or both of them traded. So he actually, I think he tied the MLB record tonight for uh, fastest pitch with 105.1 again I believe he tied his own record but anyway again another player that'll be a valuable pickup for some teams second best closer in my opinion available in this free agency class um, so at number six got Dexter Fowler um, you know this is a pretty outfielder heavy class my whole thing with Dexter Fowler is just in not really inconsistencies over the last couple years but, I don't know, you, you don't, a lot of times it's hard to tell which Dexter Fowler is going to show up. You know, last year had his best year, really just power-wise, 17 home runs, a career high, even though he's 29 years old. You know, that was just kind of a breakout year with Chicago. But batting average kind of slipped to 250 this year, not as much, or not as heavy power numbers, but still batting 290. Um, you know, he probably won't play... I don't think he's going to end up playing as many games as he did last year, though. So, um, 
you know, he's dealt with a little bit of injury problems this year that might hurt his stock a little bit. But again, still still going to be a val or still a valuable free agent in this class and definitely still in the top 10. So at number 5, I've got Josh Reddick. Now, Josh Reddick you're going to find as high as I'd say 3 on a lot of free agency lists. Uh, again, one of the more underrated outfielders in Major League Baseball. Uh, having another good year this year. I believe he's 29 years old. Yes. You know, spent most of his career with the same team with the uh, Oakland Athletics. Power-wise, not his best year so far. You know, back in 2012, really had a breakout year with 32 home runs. Really hasn't seen or found the same power number since. But, you know, 2014 started to find his groove again. And, you know, he's gotten better as the years have gone along uh, up to this point. And, again, consistency might be a little bit of an issue, but still prevent or presents... Um, Still presents a good starting outfielder for whatever team picks him up. So at number four, you got Kenley Jansen, closing pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Again, my opinion, best closer in this free agency class and will command a pretty heavy amount of money this offseason. So at number three, got Jose Bautista, outfielder for the um, Toronto Blue Jays. So there's been trade talks about, about Joey Bats, um, you know, whether he's going to get dished out before the before the deadline you know he's dealt with a little bit of injury problems this year as well and I you know I really don't think he's gonna end up returning to Toronto this year that I just kind of have the feeling about that but anyway and number two got Ioannis yeah Ioannis Cespedes so again Cespedes another guy that's turned into kind of a journeyman recently uh I couldn't can really tell you the amount of money. I, I'm assuming probably the same amount of money he's going to command this offseason that, that that he did last season. Um, it's a pretty normal, pretty normal year for him so far. Maybe a little bit better. You know, he he's turned into one of the, in my opinion, top maybe top 25 players in Major League Baseball, at least hitting wise. And you know, right now batting 299, 21 home runs, 50, or 52 RBIs, good year. Uh, again, gonna probably going to command about the same or same amount of money he did last year. Maybe a little bit more. You know, he's had a lot of injury troubles last year, only played 57 games, uh, commanding about $17.5 million for his contract right now or his salary per year. So, again, probably looking maybe about the same ballpark, maybe bump it up to around uh, 19 or $20 million. Anyway, at number one, got Edwin Encarnacion. And again, I have a little bit higher than most people would just because I think that Edwin Encarnacion is criminally, criminally underrated um, by most people in Major League Baseball still. You know, he's been a all-star, in my opinion, an all-star quality player in this league for about six years now. Uh, really had a breakout a long time ago. So, you know, I honestly think he's going to stick with the Blue Jays. He had a kind of a rough start to the season and has been finding his bat recently and overall looks like he's going to have another pretty good season. But anyway, that'll pretty much conclude this video. Like I said, I wanted to do a little uh, brief top 10 MLB free agents for 2016 since there's so much stuff uh, going down in baseball like recently with uh, contracts and trades. At least there's expected to be. Um, the list change. It will probably change quite frequently. Like if a guy like Aroldis Chapman gets traded, um, you know, I didn't really mention this. If he gets traded to a situation um, where he feels like he can fit in and compete long term, then I think he might actually be locked up for a couple, um, a couple years so that he won't hit free agency this year. But anyway, that'll pretty much do it for this video. That's pretty much it. Let's see. Yeah.